What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Um, I did the unboxing of this probably two weeks ago because as soon as I got this I kind of left on vacation. So this is the first time I've had a chance to come back and visit this Best Tech Knives. Uh, this is the Togata knife. Uh, and I'm just going to move the box out of the way. It's a nice hard cardboard box. Kind of simple, kind of plain. Uh, comes in a zippered pouch with a microfiber, the silica gel, all that good stuff, right? We'll just set that stuff off to the side so we can focus in on this beauty. <coughs> so this is the Togata, and Togata actually means sharp in Japanese. So, and that kind of plays in twofold for this because one, it's a sharp looking knife, I think. And it came pretty freaking sharp out of the box. Uh, the designer is Morgan Cohen's, and he is typically a fixed blade um, custom maker. And I will put a link to his Instagram down below. So go check him out. He's different. He's a little unique. He doesn't really have books. He makes knives. He posts them up, and they're available. So, um, yeah, he seemed... Like he makes some pretty cool fixed blades and is diving into the folding knife design also and working with Best Tech on this particular one and with future plans of working with other manufacturers. So I kind of look forward to that because this thing is pretty freaking awesome. So this was lent in by my buddy Gary. And when I had opened the box and did the unboxing, I wasn't not sure who it was from. So if you watch that video, uh, you'll see that I was not sure who that was from at the time. So anyway, let's dive into the specs. It's five and a quarter inches closed and a whopping nine inches overall. It is a 3.74 inch blade with a 3.88 cutting edge. And again, I measure from the top of the scale to the tip of the blade. That's how I get my blade length. The edge, well, that's from the edge. The edge is pretty easy to measure. The blade, sometimes, uh, that's how I measure it. I don't know how everybody else does, right? This particular measurement matches what the websites say are the dimensions at 3.74. So I guess this company measures it that way too. Other people measure it from the pivot, I think. Like there's a lot of different ways to measure the blade, but that's how I measure it. So there you go, 3.88 cutting edge. M390 uh, blade steel, and it is 0 0.150 thick. Overall thickness is 0.539 minus the clip. And it weighs in at 4.9 ounces but it doesn't feel heavy at all. And it runs on bearings, as you can see. Super smooth. Not crazy drop shut and guillotine your finger, but a nice controlled close. Feels awesome in the hand. Okay, let's zoom in and take a closer look. Very nice bead blasted uh, blade with kind of a bowie tip and an American Tonto grind. It's a flat grind. Nice fuller, which kind of matches uh, Morgan's fixed blades. It is available in different inlays. It is a titanium frame with the uh, canvas micarta shown here. They have a G10 and I think a carbon fiber. The pocket clip is reversible for left or right. Uh, I typically don't like just a one screw in the clip because it can have a tendency to shift, right? They, res they solve that by having this milled pocket. And on the other side of the clip, it would recess into that. And then the one screw locks it in and holds it very nicely. This pocket clip is also titanium and works perfectly well in and out of the pocket. You do have the M390, you have the maker's signature there, and then it does have a 
27 out of 60 there. I got to believe they made more than 60, but perhaps what it is, I could not find the information. So if somebody knows, put that down in the comments. It may just be that they made 60 in this version, 60 in the carbon fiber, 60 in the G10, 60 in the whatever other inlays they did. That could be it. I'm not sure. Thumbsteads for left or right. Just really a nice fit and finish. It's, I don't know. It just feels great in the hand. Now, these are still available. I did just do some checking as I, uh, before I filmed the video. Uh, and this is in May of 2021. And they're about 300 bucks, $297 just under 300 bucks, depending on where you're gonna buy it and whatnot. Uh, I cannot, yeah. If Gary, if you see this video and you don't like it, just let me know and I will not ship it to you. I will just send you some cashola instead. Because yeah, I could totally see me carrying this and using it, it's right up my alley. I might have liked maybe a carbon fiber inlay or something a little darker personally, but yeah, I would uh, I would carry this a lot. You can finger flick it, um, reverse flip, whatever. I don't typically do that, but you can fit your thumb in here also into the fuller if you wanted to deploy it that way. So all in all, a really great knife that I think Gary is really gonna like. So there you go, guys. A quick look at the Best Tech Knives Togata. Thanks for watching. I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. And uh, I'm back from vacation. Got to pump out some videos now because I have a few things here on the shelf that I need to film and get back into the swing of things. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.